Hey guys, my name is Jackie and we are going to talk about CTAs today, aka calls to action. Um, so HubSpot makes it super cool um, and easy to create button CTAs, image CTAs, smart CTAs, and also variations. So you can A-B test CTAs and see which ones work well for your website. So today we're going to go ahead and get started. You're going to want to be logged into the back end of your portal. Um, you're going to come under content and calls to action right here. You're going to get to this screen similar to this. Um, and then you're going to see at the top right, you're going to have a create a CTA button. We're going to go ahead and get started with that. And we are going to start with a button. So right here, we're going to have the name option. You can change this name. You can add a campaign, um, create a new campaign. And then on this right side here is the link that your button will open up. So you can either link to an external web address or you can use any of your pages. To select a page, um, just go ahead and search um, any page that you have on your website and you can also have this open in a new window option. So here we have a custom button or an image button. Um, since we're gonna talk a little bit more about just a basic button, I'm gonna walk you through the variations and options that HubSpot offers. So they have different styles. They also show you a little preview here. Um, so you have a simple rectangle push padded um, and you can see them change at the bottom quarter, which is super cool. Um, and even textured. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a simple button right now. Um, and you can also change the background color. So if you want a lime green color, if you want a hot bright pink, purple, blue, um, go ahead and change your color here. You can add, you can change the padding um, of your button and everything's pretty fast in terms of updating. So you're gonna see quick responsiveness. Um, change your text here. So if you want it to be a download button, you can go ahead and change that text here. Um, if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced, um, you can also change the CSS. So what I like to do is to change the style here to a link no style, which removes the colors and all those options. And you're gonna go to customize CSS. And if you had a class that was already programmed as HS button, you can simply type that in. And as long as your style sheet is loading properly, you'll get all those styles from um, this class right here. Um, but for the sake of being super simple, we are going to stick with a simple style. And you're gonna go ahead and just create your CTA. Make sure that everything is linked properly. And go ahead and create a CTA. So once people start clicking on your button and viewing the site, you're gonna have um, these numbers start generating. So the views, the views to clicks, clicks, and um, the submissions. You're also gonna be able to see in a little top right corner right here, um, you're gonna start seeing where that button is located so that way you can easily track that um, analytics. So, Next up, we are going to really quick just do an image CTA. So taking the same steps, you're gonna go ahead and create a CTA in the right-hand corner. Um, do the same thing with the name, the campaign, the links. Um, but instead of the custom button, we are going to use an image button. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our image and I have uploaded some test ones. So we are going to upload this one right here um, and it also gives you a preview right here on the bottom it tells you the width and the height and then we're gonna want to put an alt text um, just kind of standard for any image so that's the same thing so we're gonna want to make sure again information is all there correct uh, the links are proper just do the same one and I'm gonna go ahead and press create a CTA and now we've created a graphic CTA. So it's pretty simple, um, similar steps, just using that different kind of style um, in the editor. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit more advanced. Um, we're gonna go ahead and create a smart CTA. So in the same top right corner, you're gonna click that drop down, 
and you're gonna click create a smart CTA. So if you haven't heard of smart CTAs yet, um, or haven't read the blog post, um, or just getting advanced with this video, smart CTAs are pretty awesome in HubSpot. And if you haven't heard of them already, essentially what they do is they allow you to change the value proposition based on a number of lists. So in here, you're gonna see the different types um, of smart CTAs or how you can control the smart CTA essentially. So by country, by device type, by referral resource, um, preferred language and contact list and lifecycle stage. Um, for this example, we are gonna go ahead and do by contact list membership and we're going to do it by subscribers. So essentially what we're doing is we're tackling the daily subscribers. And here you can also add multiple rules to this smart CTA. Um, but for this example, again, we're just gonna go ahead and be simple and we're gonna just keep daily subscribers to the inbound marketing blog. We're gonna go ahead and click next step. And we're gonna say whoever is subscribed to the daily list, we're gonna go and show this specific CTA. Um, we're gonna pretend like we didn't just create these um, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new CTA. So name it, um, already subscribed. And we're gonna say that we wanna send them to an offer. Um, and for this example, I am gonna use an image button. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my image. And I'm gonna use the same graphic that I used in the other example. And we're gonna say, if they are already a subscriber, we're gonna wanna send them to get a free marketing review. So next step. Don't forget your alt tag. Next step, we're gonna wanna create a CTA that creates a default CTA to show the users who are not subscribed. So for this example, we're gonna go ahead and also create a new CTA. Um, you're not gonna be able to change the name just because they're all tied in together. And with the design and image button, I'm going to choose a blog CTA. So this one here is just something that Bluely ties um, to subscribe to our blog. So I'm gonna use this image, alt tag, done. Oops. Don't forget your, uh, your link URL or else you won't be able to finish this. And then we're gonna go ahead and click done. Awesome, now once you've taken these steps, you've just created your first smart CTA. Um, and again, with the same thing with the other ones, once people start viewing the pages, um, you're gonna be able to have these numbers start generating. So now we're gonna talk about variations or A-B testing of the CTAs. This is a little bit different than a smart CTA. Um, you can just do subtle differences in a button or a graphic or whatever you would like if you want to use a completely different um, design but geared toward the same offer this is a great uh, tool to use so for this example I am going to just use the button that I just created the symbol button and I'm gonna go here in the middle of the cogwheel and I'm gonna create test variation so with this um, again you can't change the name just because they are tied in together and I'm gonna say that I want to try out a blue button and maybe I want to change the wording a little bit. So I'm going to say, you know, download or don't forget to download today. So this is going to be my variation. I'm going to change whatever I would like. If I did want to do one with a button um, and then one with a graphic, you can easily do that just by changing in the same steps as the other um, example, is just create an image button here, upload your image. Um, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, we're just gonna go ahead and change the color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the CTA, and you're gonna see here that this one says a variation test group. This means you have successfully created a variation and you're good to go. So once you've gone ahead and had this running for a while, um, the numbers are gonna start populating here and you are gonna start to realize, you know, which button is doing a little bit better than the other. Um, so 
you're going to be able to disable the variation and essentially you're going to it's going to have where you can click a clear winner um, on this cog wheel. You're just going to use the drop down. Um, if you did want to change, let's say, or swap a CTA or edit it, you can always go ahead and do that even when it is running. So keep that in mind. Um, this is a great way to test simple variations, but if you want to do a smart CTA and offer um, based on rules or lists, then the smart CTA is great to use in HubSpot. Okay guys, so that's it for HubSpot CTAs. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope that you get to use these tools that I showed you with smart CTAs and variations um, to gain more conversions on your website.